everybody, and good morning. My name is Guy. Hey, guess what? We are celebrating three years, Lindsay, right? Three years of three years officially, five years unofficially of doing Guys in the Garden because the show had a different name in the first two years. But my name's Guy. I'm going to be with you for the next two hours. I hope you're excited about springtime because it's right around the corner. I know it's February, but wishful thinking. Let's let's reach out a little bit, you know, and, and pretend that it's coming up soon because for a lot of us it is. I have a lot of great stuff coming up in the shower uh, show. I've got some brand new items real quick. Uh, everything over $75 in your cart, free shipping and handling. Uh, brand new items like like I said in the show, uh, and lots of other cool stuff. I do have uh, one pick in this hour that I wanted to highlight. My good friend Deb Byers, who's standing right over there, she's gonna bring you our expandable fence. Here's what I'll tell you. This was easily, it's gotta be one of the most popular, probably top five items uh, that we show here uh, in our garden show because everybody needs it. Y'all have something that maybe you don't want. I'm just gonna point to it back here while you see it. You may have something that you wanna kinda conceal or hide. It could be your garbage cans, it could be your recycle bins. A lot of us get those, you know, the, uh, the city puts those power boxes out on the, on the curb sometimes and you wanna hide those. The cool thing about these is, is uh, they have what I call adaptable construction. They actually will stretch up to nine feet two feet high, but then you can adapt it if you want it four feet high, five feet high, four feet wide. It actually flexes. You can use it for a pergola. You can use it pretty much anywhere. I have mine underneath my deck so that the, it covers the crawl space under there. Uh, they are made of durable bamboo. They're gonna last you years and years and years. And we have it at a great price in white, purple, orange, yellow, or pink, all right? I'm gonna go over to the mailbox. So um, as you know, what we'd like to do each year is we'd like to involve all our Facebook friends. I'm gonna say hi to all our Facebook friends. I'm gonna give you some shout outs in a little bit. But we got a question of the day. And if you answer it right. Hey guy, yeah. you've got mail. Okay, thank you very much. If you get it right or if you, if you give us a good answer, $25 gift card. So here's, here's our question today. Lindsay put these butterflies all over the place. There's like butterflies all over the place. Is it my job to find all the butterflies? All right, well, I found one. All right, here's our question for the $25 gift card. What is your favorite flower or plant that still grows through the winter? That's a good question. I have a ponytail palm. Of course, that's indoors, but I, and I live in Florida, so there's lots of stuff growing. But let us know if there's anything, either indoors and outdoors, that keeps growing throughout the winter. I'd be curious to hear about that. Uh, get that, uh, or give us an answer, and we will give you a $25 gift card. Uh, I'm trying to think if I thought of everything else, Rob. Is there anything else? I think that's it. All right, let's get started with our show. As I promised you, we have lots of new stuff. And remember, you know, this early in the season, a lot, we're not doing plants yet, but we're doing a lot of decor. So whether you're gonna be using it indoors or outdoors, it's totally up to you. This is a bird feeder. It's brand new. It's from our friends at Wind & Weather. It's actually stained glass and metal construction, and it's a bird feeder bowl. I have it in three different colors okay, or styles, one is called butterfly, one is called hummingbird, and the other one is bluebird. I love all the details on these. They are so beautiful, they're very, very elegant. So if you're gonna put something out, like maybe out on your porch or patio, under an eave, you know, maybe where, where your birds come in, uh, you can hang it from a shepherd's hook, you can hang it from a string. Absolutely beautiful, $39.95. Uh, Yvette Lopez is here. Listen, the birds, you hear the birds chirping, Yvette? I my first them. my first guest of season three. I know. Can I give you a hug? Uh, yes. It's I, so, I love, I mean, you're great on Skype, but man, in person, you're amazing. Oh, you're awesome, so. too. You know what? And, and well, listen, it's a lot about, about us, but it's also about all our Facebook friends. They love yes. our shows. And, you know, I, I tell people, I'm like, don't wait till March or May no. or June. Get some stuff home now. Well, because with wind and weather, that stuff tends to sell out. We, and... we had about 1,500. We're yeah. already down to 1,000 yeah. of these. That's all we have. Yeah. So Tell us about it. I'm, I'm super excited. This is um, new with wind and weather because we have a lot of new items this year. And this one in particular is more of um, an elegant piece. So if you come in close and look at it, it's called the stained glass bird feeder because is as you see, like here are your flower, your leaves, and then the wings on all our little beautiful little flying creatures, they look like stained glass. And this is, now the whole construction is metal and then glass. This bowl is actually glass. So it's a very elegant yeah. piece. You can put your bird feet in there. It's gonna attract your small little birds. And then you look at all of these little jeweled beads. Now these are acrylic jeweled beads. There's so much detail. Yeah. And then 
if you look, like this is our little hummingbird. So I'm gonna hit it, it's on a spring. And so when the wind catches it a little bit, it's gonna bounce a little oh, bit. Oh, that's awesome. Right, so the, the detail here yes. is exquisite. And I'm just gonna say, for those of you that are not familiar with wind and weather, they are, they started out on the north coast of California in 1976. Now they are world known for their beautiful artistic pieces, high quality, and this is what they bring to you season after season. So you're gonna have these very unique pieces yes. to start in your lawn, your garden, your porch. This is one of their smaller pieces because we have some big old pieces too. <coughs> right. But this is a smaller one that maybe you just have a balcony to work with. Yeah, you live in you an know? apartment. Yeah, right? and this is just gonna add a touch of class, beauty, and I, love that we're offering it to you this early. Yeah. Shoot, maybe you give it to your girlfriend for Valentine's well, Day. Well, and by the way, if you want the Bluebird, which you're looking at right now, I have 200 left. Okay, so that's gonna be the first one to sell out. These are all brand new. You know, I've been, we've been talking about it for years, Yvette, and it's like, if you want birds and, you know, creatures to come into your yard, yes. which have so many benefits, you know, the pollinators, all that stuff, you need to put something out for them, okay? Otherwise, they're gonna go to the neighbor's yard. They're gonna be like, oh my gosh. Like my dad would put a bird feeder out. He actually had a couple of them out every year. He would hang them from in front of our, our, our picture window. Yes, And he yes. would sit there and he had binoculars. He had Listen. all that stuff. He loved to check out the birds. Life is too short not to do stuff like it, that. It's a beautiful time. Yeah. I watch mine in the morning with my coffee. And there's a lot of birds that are out in the winter. They are, right? absolutely. And uh, listen, I know it's spring here in Florida. Spring is coming towards you. It is coming and you can pick up a piece like this early. And again, you can set this in your, in your porch. Now, it comes, I want you to know, it comes fully assembled. Your glass is gonna be wrapped carefully and all you do is set your piece of glass, which is your bowl, right in there. That's it, there's no assembly to you. We have it hanging, obviously, for display on some, um, these beautiful hooks that, that are standalone, which would be great for a balcony, but you can hang it on a soffit. You can hang it even from a tree limb with an yeah. extra hook. Do whatever you want here, and I wanna let you know, because this is wind and weather, everything is treated, this metal, it can rain on it, shoot, it can snow on it. It yeah. doesn't matter. It's not gonna chip, it's not gonna rust. None of these colors are gonna fade. Again, wind and weather, think of something you would see in a very high-end art show. These are quality pieces. Yeah, I, don't wanna, I wanna show one more time the one uh, that's closest uh, to Yvette over here. So this is the, uh, which one's this one? That's this the is hummingbird. Hummingbird? Yes. The one that is right here that's is called, butterfly. this is called butterfly, uh -huh. right? And then which one is bluebird? The I bluebird's think. back here. All right, bluebirds. We're, look, it has a bird in the actually, theater already. That's, that's bluebird, because wow. you see the you see the bird over there. <laughs> so that, I, I misspoke, because this one was blue. I thought that was bluebird. Now, bluebird is over there. Uh, only about 175 left of the bluebird, if you want to pick that up. $39.95. Hey, Rob, Rob, real quick, are we doing anything with the credit card today? Okay, so if you want to get 10 bucks off, you can drop the price down to $29.95. Brand new 809-227 is the item number. I know, Yvette, you're coming back. I'll be back with more brand Do, new items from Win and Weather. Your next item is so cool, the little yeah. creatures. Oh, yeah. I, I can't wait to talk about this. You have those. a couple of things coming yes. up. And by the way, I do have another bird feeder uh, with Lorna. Lorna's going to be Skyping it all over. I think she's over in London, right? Is that where uh, Lorna is? We have another bird feeder. These are really cool. These are called hanging fruit feeders. Everybody's going to get two. Uh, so if you want to feed your friends in style, I love these. Look, it's a little chewed up apple, but it has a little bowl inside where you can put your seed. You get a two pack. You get the apple and the orange, or you get the strawberry and the lime. You can put seed in one, you can put nectar in the other, whatever you want, there's the strawberry, all right? And they're actually really good size. They're bigger than my hand when you see them. Uh, they're awesome. So not only for the birds, but hummingbirds, bees, all right? If you wanna grab it right now, you can go to hsn.com. And by the way, you can hang those anywhere, solid outdoor construction. All right, so. As y'all know, I'm a big fan of the garden spinners. I think um, they're the best way to be able to add a pop of color into your garden, especially this time of year where maybe you're not, you know, you don't have flowers outside yet, but you just want to put some color out there. Even if it's a backdrop to a snowy sort of a background, you can do that as well. So normally when you see, and this is Larkin Meadow, love this company. Normally when you see them, we get the big five, six footers. Those are wonderful, but for a lot of people, they're too much. They're too big. They want one that's scaled down a little bit. 
So these are actually three feet, a little under three feet tall. They have the uh, multi-directional spinning. So one will spin one way, one will spin the other when the wind catches it. I have three different designs uh, that are available. I have it in the blue, I have it in the red, and then I also have it in the Verity. Okay, so I've got all three colors. And this is kind of how they work when they get going. One, one goes one way and the other goes the other. I'll try to do these without chopping my finger off here. All right, hold on, you ready? So one goes that way, that, oh, that goes that way. There you go. And then this one goes like that. All right, I got them all going at the same time. Deb Byers is here. Deb, $29.95. This is a giveaway. And these are these are three feet tall. They are gigantic. Yeah. Good morning. Good, Good morning. morning, everybody. And this is an opportunity for you to bring a little bit of springtime. I know that Poxitani Phil said six more weeks of, of winter. Heck well, yeah. you can go ahead and have a little bit of spring with these gorgeous, gorgeous spinners. Spinners have been hugely popular in the past couple of seasons, and these are gorgeous. They're exclusive here from Larkin Meadow. And Guy is absolutely right. They're roughly three feet feet tall from the tip of the spike all the way to the top of these gorgeous flowers and the flowers are 13 and a half inches in diameter so that's a lot of color and they're beautiful i'm standing in front of the blue and you'll notice that it's a little bit hammered these are metal so they're going to be rust resistant fade resistant weather resistant and outdoor safe and you're going to be able to enjoy them season after season so you'll notice that this is beautiful and hammered so this is the blue and it's got a little bit of purple on it they need to be assembled it takes a nanosecond to put them together but the color is second to none so that's the blue over here we have the red now they're calling it red in the system but it's really sort of an orangey yellowy gorgeous almost a sun color it's absolutely yeah, beautiful I use the word ombre yeah, kind you, of an ombre you, design. You can you can use the name ombre, ombre. <laughs> yeah, doesn't that mean like changing color? Something yes. like that. I'm kind of this. By the way, we don't have these in real soil, so that's kind of why this one's starting to kind of go a little bit left but, on us. No, that's a great point. So if you've got the spike on the end of them is about four and a half feet long. So if you don't have a yard or garden and don't have real dirt to put it in, you can put them in a, a planter like we have with sand or dirt, and they will be secure. So you don't have a garden it's okay you can put them on a balcony and absolutely enjoy them but at once the wind blows they're going to be beautiful but again to the red one they're hammered but then the Verdi the one that you're looking at on the screen that soft green the little tips of gold and white and the surface is smooth on the Verde. so it's a little bit different of a style but all three of these are going to give you that beautiful pop of color that visual interest in your garden <coughs> and if it's still cold up north where you are or a across the country, pop it in the yard now yeah. and kind of give a jump start to your yard Stick or garden with color. Stick if you have Absolutely. to, Absolutely, right? no worries. I mean, hey, listen, you know, we're, we're realistic here. I know it's February and I know a lot of you are still in the cold, but this, you get something home like this, and this you can put out right away. Yes. But it gives you that, it gives you that feeling of, okay, okay, it's almost over. I just gotta get through it a little bit longer. We're gonna have plants, actually, I think plants are already available online, but we're gonna start those, I think, in another week or two. Lindsay, do we know when plants are coming a couple weeks? I think it's a couple weeks when those are coming. But get your garden started right with something beautiful. And I love, Deb, that, you know, right now, Every, we're kind of in the doldrums of, yes. of late winter, and there's really not a lot of color outside, right? Everything is either green or brown or it's white from snow. How nice to be able to pop this out in your yard, right? And then instantly you get that effect. And remember, it also comes to life because what happens is the wind hits it, mm -hmm. and it could be the winter wind or the summer wind, the summer wind. It could be <laughs> any of that. And now you've got something that actually is dancing out in your yard that looks so beautiful. I'm gonna try to get that one going at the same time. This one in the front, there we go. All right, colors. The one you're looking at there is called Verde. Beautiful. Deb, you've got, which one do you have? I've got the blue with little tips of purple. Okay. And then, Guy, you're standing in front of the red. They call it red in the system, everybody, but it really is like a like an orangey, beautiful sun. So it's beautiful. absolutely beautiful. Yeah. But you can't go wrong. Remember, these are fade resistant, weather resistant, they're outside safe, and they are rust resistant. So you're gonna be able to enjoy them all season long. And once your flowers and your plants start to come to life, they're going to be peeking out above and beyond them and creating even more of a beautiful, beautiful landscape for you. So whether you put them in your yard or garden among the plants, 
plants or flowers, yeah. or in a plant or on your balcony, you're going to be able to enjoy this beauty all season I long. I think some people, like last year, we had so many beautiful spinners, but a lot of people did not want the big ones. You know, because right. they're... Honestly, they're almost six feet tall, and you need a pretty decent size space or, you know, to try to tuck them in somewhere. What's wonderful about these is they're only half that size, and they're about a third of the price because our other ones were about $89, dollars Yes. $29 if you want. The most popular is the one in front of yes. Deb, okay? I would say this one maybe is second. I, I like them both. I think I probably like that blue one, too. All right, so the red, the red and the orange is the second. This is kind of like a fire color. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, but blue is the most limited. If you want to get it home, uh, only $9.98 on your credit card. If you get a brand new HSN credit card today, we'll drop the price to $19.95 because we'll put $10 in your account and you can use it any way you want. Remember, in the garden show today or any other show, if you spend $75, everything's free shipping. Wow. Yeah. Got to go for it. Absolutely. Because even though it's only February 2nd, February, is it February 3rd? 3rd. Yes, it's absolutely an amazing time to pick up on some of these great items now because once the season starts, they're all going to go. Hey, by the way, I'm going to remind you, uh, you can go to hsn.com, okay, and uh, uh, I guess type in guys in the garden, and our whole uh, variety, our whole assortment is there. There you go. I, I got it right. And then you just click on it. And just check out what you want. I still, I do have some plants and uh, that are that are available right now. We'll have more and more as the season progresses. Uh, there's my pick. You saw my pick. Oh, look at there's the fence, right? We got disc lights today. I got the garden kneeler today. Oh, got so many of our favorites. If you want to get those, Deb, thank you, Deb. Thank you, guys. You're coming back in a sec. Yeah, Deb's coming back in just a sec. All right. So if you want to shop the assortment, you can. Uh, we got lots of great stuff over there at hsn.com. Thanks, Jimmy. All right. Let's talk about tools. So I have I have probably a half dozen tools that I got here at HSN. I was just telling uh, somebody before, I was like, man, I, I got this shovel last year that was so great. Uh, you know, the one that's kind of pointed. Love that thing. Um, but I'm in need of a rake. My rake is on its last time. I should say. It's just beat up, right? So I was looking around, and then I saw in my show something called the Rake Assassin. I got to tell you, for your money, you cannot find a better rake. If it was just a rake, it'd be incredible. But it's so much more. Because you can rake, you can scrape, you can scoop. If you've got stuff in your pool that you need to, to uh, you know, skim out of the pool, you can use it for that. It has an extra long handle, but here's the best part. It only weighs less than two pounds. So uh, for you people at home that are gardeners, and I love the style of it and the shape of it, two pounds it makes, it makes great sense. You have, uh, you have basically an aluminum shaft down the middle, and then you've got that hard, heavy-duty construction on the top and the bottom. So really quickly, I'm going to put my cards down before Pete gets out. It's a three-in-one design. So if I want to, I can do my regular raking. And I got to tell you, that's, the thing is amazing. Heavy-duty durable. If I wanted to, I can scoop with it as well, okay? I can shovel with it if I need to shovel with it. I can use it as a skimmer. I mean, they should actually call it a five-in-one. I can do so many uh, different things, but I always find it's much easier to rake with uh, the tines turned down like this. In this case, almost all the time, uh, the, the, the little uh, fingers on this are, are facing downwards. So you really get great action out of this. $49.95, it comes in green. And then it also comes in red. Does it come in blue as well, Pete? Just comes in green and red. My buddy, Peter Kilcullen. My How's it fellow, going? My bro. First show of the year oh, in the I'm garden. Sorry, you've got to be in it. It's, it's excellent being in the garden. Peter and I have known each other how many years now? 23. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. We were young, cool guys Yeah, back then. I know. Now we're just a bunch of old gardeners. But anyway, <laughs> $49.95. I, here, you heard what I said. I, this yeah. will be the best rake you ever bought. It's unbelievable. Yeah. It, it really is. I mean, when you see that, you used to think, well, we have to rake, and, and that rake wasn't as good as this, as you were saying, as just the rake. Yeah. But now it's going to function as that shovel or scoop, which I think is tremendous. And something else I've used quite a bit is a metal rake, because if you want to rake gravel, if you're going to rake that mulch and replace that mulch, but then you're raking so much of that dirt, you just end up yeah. dumping all the dirt into a trash can. This is going to act as a shovel, a metal rake, a scoop, a sift. It really does it all. So you're not going to need multiple tools while you're out there raking. So you were already doing a great job. Yeah. So you're doing. We should spread these out a little bit. Yeah, let's do it. So we can rake. So this will be how you're going to normally use it. You know, sort of every day where you're scooping those leaves, or I should 
gonna say raking those leaves into that pile, and then you're just gonna scoop them, and then we're gonna go right in the trash can just like that. So that takes out that whole second step of raking them all into a pile and then figuring out how you're gonna get well, them in the trash can. Yeah, and you and what's nice is is those little tines are spread just enough so that you'll have no problem with leaves. Or even like, you know, this this time of year as we get into spring, sticks debris that's falling off your trees when you have the ice in the branches and you got all that stuff out right. there, Pete. Yeah, because they're, uh, I'll show you that the design is, it's amazing. And you know, again, we look at these things, these these new innovations, these great designs that change, change the way we use these tools. When you see the design, so first off, you may have used that metal rake with those metal tines. That is, if I was to pull that out like that, it would stay that way. But here, yeah. this strong polypropylene, they're gonna bounce back in place so they're flexible. So you get that flex while you're raking. But then this part is hard to see, but the scoop part is amazing. How they've designed this whole area. So the back end of this is really like that shovel. This is gonna be able to sift all that dirt so you're only picking up the gravel, the rocks, the weeds, the, the mulch that you no longer want in that garden, that flower bed. So this is designed perfectly. And then even something as simple, I think is really cool when you see the bend in that aluminum yeah. pole that puts this together. And it's a two piece design, so storage is super easy, but you can see that how it goes down and then the design of that scoop, that shovel, and then so you know that way is the rake. But look at that, better well, than what I, you're using. And I've had a couple of different types of, of rakes. I've had a metal rake, which you know you use a lot for, for gravel and things like that. Exactly. I've had the, I still have a plastic rake, but it's it's missing some, some tines, it's so old. And what happens with an old rake, I don't know if you notice this, the plastic actually starts to get softer. Sure. It kind of wears down and, and you don't have that same sort of raking strength. But with this, whether it's mulch, whether you, it's, uh, you know, you're putting uh, wood chips out on your yard and then you, or if you want to spread things out on your yard, you can do that. And one of the other benefits that Pete and I were kind of talking about before, if you've got a pool or, or any kind of a water feature and you need to skim stuff out of it, yeah. you can use it for that as well. You said you had a, you had a dead rat in your pool. That, that has happened. <laughs> we got to call them. Not all the time. No, but, but that happens. Happened. We live in Florida. Yes. And we do have a lot of rats around here because we have a lot of fruit trees. Right. Um, so that happens. I've had, you know, up in, when I lived in New England, frogs in your pool. Sure, we and get they those, don't have to yeah. they dead. You can save them. Right? Absolutely. Right? So because you can use it as that shovel, but it's not you're just going to be moving water or moving dirt if you're doing that, that it acts as that sift. But the strength is really incredible. So let's, let me show that to everyone, guys. Yeah. So I've got just some pavers on the end of our rake assassin and you can see look Dude. at that i mean it's almost becoming too much for me but not for the rake look at that see that yeah you could never do that so with a moving, regular plastic you know, rake. pieces of Couldn't rocks and gravel yeah it, i mean it really is amazing that it can handle those things and then you're using it to rake your leaves so rake scoop <laughs> lift sift it really is you know, amazing the thing about a rake too is that it's not something that not everybody can use everybody that has a home or an apartment or whatever, at one point in their life has to do some raking, right? Uh, if you've got trees or leaves or debris. So this is one of those things I love having in our show, Pete, because it's something every single person out there can utilize. Let's talk about the weight too, because if you're a senior, and I know a lot of our friends out there are seniors, it weighs two, two it's pounds. It's incredible. I mean, I would think with that aluminum pole, so even if you have a rake that has, you know, a really nice, you know, wooden handle, it weighs more than this. The, the weight is an absolute non-issue. So to create the weight, plus the strength that this is gonna do those jobs, I think it, it's amazing. And that's again, because we have aluminum and then we have that polypropylene and we have that, I mean, it's a very hard yet flexible plastic that's gonna last, yeah. it's very strong, but anyone can handle this because as a tool in itself, it is extremely light, 1.8 yeah. pounds. And I like that it's, I, since you know Pete and I are both tall guys, I kinda like that I have that extra reach. Yeah. So I don't have to worry about bending down too much. So if you have an issue with your back at all and you can't really bend, the nice thing about this is I'm not even bending and I'm able to kind of rake the leaves in as you can see I'm not really bending over I'm just grabbing what I need and you know this is going to be one of the first items that you use uh, when you're getting your garden ready but yeah. there's so many other uses for it like I said whether it's gravel I can't believe you got six bricks on there yeah that's I'll a bet. lot of weight I wonder yeah. how much weight that is it's got to be got to be it's gotta be 15 pounds. I was, gonna, I was, I was gonna yeah. say about 15, yeah. So you're gonna get something that's super duper strong. By the way, if you want the red, that will be the first to sell out. Uh, we don't have a lot of quantity this early in the season on any of the items in the show. Uh, in most cases, we have a thousand or less. So if you wanna grab yourself a rake, it's gonna be the first thing that you use every season, right? 
getting out there and you're cleaning up your yard, maybe you've got debris, heck, you could use this thing to push snow off your deck. I mean, whatever you need it for. Before you have to rake. Before you rake. That might come up sooner than yeah. we're going to be actually, unless you're here in Florida. But listen, I think you're absolutely right. Everyone is going to be using a rake, but now you don't have to go and get that shovel. You don't have to say, well, my regular rake is all bent and out of shape and it's not going to work in the garden if I am removing rocks and gravel and mulch, but you have it here because it's going to rake, it's going to shovel, it'll sift that dirt out. I, I, that, to me, that's the biggest thing, guy. I don't know how often I would be raking in a flower bed or a garden bed, yeah. and then all you'd be doing is scooping the dirt into the trash along with everything else. But here, now you're able to sift it. Because you know the metal rake that you need to do that work is only about that long. Well, you got to hold so, it with your other hand you, well, to it's, scoop. It's useless, really, yeah. to sift or to lift anything. Oh, the little tines, yeah. I yeah, because they're, they're short. Right. But this is fantastic. It'll do both. It'll function like that metal rake, but then it's going to be able to lift. So your regular rake, your metal rake, your shovel, all of this in one, and it's going that, to last because it's so well made. You brought up so such well a good point. I don't yeah. know how close, Mikey, we can get on the rake head itself, but what Peter's talking about, a regular rake only gives you about an inch or so. Well, that metal rake specifically, yeah. yeah. But if you look at here, and I'll, I'll go back, look at how much I'm able to get under there and then again now all I have to do is just turn it, That's it and scoop it and I've got a pile so it actually helps to get the pile nice and high so you can get under it versus the regular rake and Pete, it just combs right through the grass. Yeah, exactly. Look wow. at what I love about this one. We're talking about the scooping part of it. You can see how it lays perfectly flat. So you don't have to find that angle to use it as a scoop. It's perfectly flat. The handle comes right up. I'm not all the way down on the ground, even like you might be with a shovel. You're right up here. It scoops right underneath, and you can lift. So, I mean, it is absolutely perfect. Hey. The design is really impressive. It's really well done. Not a bad Valentine's Day in red for Dad. Valentine's gift, right? That's gonna hurt, but it's still gonna hey, be useful. Guys, don't. <laughs> it's gonna you, be useful. What are you gonna get me, chocolate? What am I gonna do with chocolate? Cancel the chocolate I got for Guy. <laughs> Guess that's over. I, I, you know, I, trust me. If somebody, if, like, if my, if Danny got me this, he said, "Hey, Dad, I know it's Valentine's, but I got you a rake." I'd be like, "He loves me. He knows me." He thinks me you're and he... old and you need more help. No, in the he loves me. <laughs> well, both. Look, <laughs> I, by the way, as, that's what we. I'm glad I didn't know we had footage of that. So if you need to skim stuff out of oh, yeah, there it is, yeah. whatever, that's really smart too. $49.95, 789251 is the item number. Red is the most popular, but I also have it available in the green color as well. Peter, so happy to have you as this part of great. our third anniversary. I, they keep telling me it's three years. We've been here for five years. You and I have been here for a lot longer than that. I've been here Five been years. I mean, this guy, we've been here a long time. But it's the beginning of a anyway, great season. It is, bro. Yeah. It's, good, it's good to see you, Pete. Thanks, Thanks for being so here. Uh, 789251 if you want to grab it. Hey, uh, by the way, stream HSN Plus for free and dive into the total shopping experience. Uh, it actually shows you uh, what you know, what you love from HSN Plus. There's exclusive shows and events. We have new and returning favorites. We've got deals, uh, all kinds of stuff. You just can't beat the prices. All uh, free, any place that you stream. If you want to stream, you can stream now at hsn.hsn.com. All right, taking a break. All right, we still got great stuff coming up as we continue with Guys in the Garden. We'll be right back. In honor of Black History Month, HSN is celebrating Black-owned and founded businesses. With a full day of curated fashion, skin tone-focused beauty, and tradition-focused kitchen wave. It all starts Thursday at midnight here at HSN. It's Marlo and Debbie D. Join us for the HSN Valentine's Day special Monday, February 13th, 8 p.m. only on HSN. HSN is bringing you one of our biggest Tucson Gem events ever. With special guests joining us live from Tucson every weekday at 2 p.m. Eastern. Discover jewelry treasures from around the globe without leaving your living room, including gemstone jewelry from Colleen Lopez, Mind finds from Jay King, rarities by Carol Brody, and more. Leading up to an exciting all-day event live from Tucson, Tuesday, February 7th. The Tucson Gem Series, now through Tuesday, only on HSN. <laughs> Welcome back to the HSN pregame show. What do you got, Tina? Well, Ty, we're doing it again. We won't have just one, but more than 10 today specials all day on the Big Game Sunday. High performance deals from DG2, Beekman, and Bissell. And let's not forget division champions Colleen Lopez, Iman, and Origami. For more on this, we go to Sarah. It's going to be a blitz of savings from Dr. Nassif Phillips and Ninja on the field. Back to you, Ty. 
It's your chance to score during today's super special Sunday, February 12th. Don't miss it. Black History Month is important because it's the opportunity to look beyond black history as just slavery and racism and spotlight black achievement in history. All right, welcome back, everybody. Hey, really quick, I gotta say hi to my friends on Facebook. Laura, hi, Laura, Hortense, Rosemary, who else? Judy, Martina, all my favorites. Rosemary, I'm, uh, who else we got here? Anita, of course, you can't have a show without Anita. I'm, I'm scrolling through as fast as I can. Debbie, Annie, Kathy O'Leary, Jocelyn, Barbara, so many of you, Mary, uh, Jen, Gianna. What a great show today we have. All right, I'll, I'll keep going as far as I can. Karen, hi, Karen. Uh, and I'll try to get more shout outs coming in as they come in. We just got a lot of people that are shopping with us today. Anyway, welcome to our show. We are streaming live on Facebook. And you guys know, every time I do a show, I try to highlight something or pick something that I think is just something that is so smart and something that everybody can use. It's my pick of the hour. It's our Improvements Expandable Fence. This is probably our third year fourth year maybe, yeah, three or four, that we've had this fence. Why do we bring it back? Everybody loves it. Because everybody, unfortunately, and I don't mean this, I kind of mean this, not literally, but figuratively, has something to hide. Actually, literally, right? It could be your trash cans. It could be your recycle bins. Uh, I, I mentioned, you know, a lot of times, in the, depending on the, where you live, there's the, the state will put a power box out on the corner. You're like, why'd they put that thing there? Uh, it could be anything that you want to conceal. It could be overhead. It could be down low. It could be a wall. You could use it to, to block the sun from your little pergola. I have two of these at the base of my uh, deck because there's crawl space under there and it, it really doesn't look very good. There's nothing under there but sort of dirt. So I kind of, I attach them around the deck and it's so beautiful. Looks like a real growing fence. The coolest part about it, and I want to I uh, drop my cards before Deb comes out, that I love, is that here you go, right? Beautiful, sort of a nice garden fence. Look what we're hiding here. A hideous, disgusting chain link fence. You know what this tells people? Keep out. This just says, I'm enjoying my privacy, right? And the cool part is I can go up with it. I can go down with it. I can stretch it to any size that I want. So if I want to put it, you know, maybe I've got a fence in the back, but the dogs can still jump through it. I can use this to put it right along the fence. So I have a bunch of colors available. Before I get to that, I'm going to have Deb come out because Deb can go through colors. This has been tried and true every year. Every year. Every season. It's not even seasonal because you'll have this up all year long. Yep. Right? Yep. And Deb, for our price of $39.99, it's the best deal in town. If you need more than one, I bought two. We have them available, but they really are brilliant. And Deb, they're so well made. You know, that's the construction is great. I love that they flex. They're, 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 they're brilliant. They are brilliant, and I'm thrilled that we have them. This is the beginning of the season, so we've got all five of your colors available. So this is going to be an opportunity for you to get the customer pick of the expandable fence because Guy said it, we all have something that we want to hide, or maybe there's just something that you want to beautify, and this can do the job. Because we love the look of ivy-covered cottage, but this is zero maintenance. You don't have to water it. You don't have to trim it. You don't have to fertilize it. You don't have to do anything but enjoy it. It's going to come to you out of the box at four feet high and two feet wide, and then it will expand to a full nine feet so you can accommodate that crawl space like I did to keep the critters out from underneath the deck, or you can hang it vertically as well. It comes with the 12 zip ties, so it'll easily attach to whatever you like, but it's super lightweight, so you could even just hang it vertically on a nail. That's what I did at home, but you can go ahead and walk around your home to find beautiful places to put this gorgeous <coughs> fence and you're in excellent company because there have been a, this has been a customer pick season after season after season and, and by the way we talk about the construction of this this is the bamboo construction I love that too because it's a renewable resource and plus bamboo lasts forever 
Absolutely. That's why they make floors out of it. They do. I mean, it's really, it's a wonderful way to be able to make it. And the leaves, Deb, they look so real. They are variegated. Each one of these gorgeous colors, and we have all five of them. I'm standing in front of the yellow. And if you can get a close-up, you'll be able to see that it's all variegated. And they're made to look real. And they are also fade resistant. So if you grab this color now and you put it out in the sun, it's going to be just the same color in the end of the season because each one is specially treated. So you can't go wrong. And if you've already purchased any of our beautiful fences and you want to stock up on them, the color's true season after season. So you can go ahead and stock up now while we still have them. So this is the gorgeous yellow guy. Okay. And then this is the beautiful purple. Yeah. And you can see, again, you've got that beautiful kind of a, a deep aubergine color right there in the center of, the, of the, the leaf. And then all the natural green colors, absolutely beautiful. And then around on the set, we've got them in a couple of other different places. Yeah. So, uh, all We've right, got so the gorgeous white. How beautiful is that up in the back? Yeah, back there. Beautiful. Look how gorgeous that is. And when you put this among your real plants, you can't tell the difference because they look that real. Absolutely. Then we've got the orange. I love that for a pop of color. I and think again, that's my favorite. I love that orange. It's so yeah. beautiful. It's so fresh. And if you're up north and it's still kind of dreary where you are, get it now, bring it inside, and then when the weather gets a little warmer, pop it outside and start to enjoy it outside. And then, very, very popular season oh, yeah. after season yep. is the latest color, that gorgeous pink. It's a little bit of pink and a little bit of white and a little bit of green. Absolutely beautiful. But the best part is with these amazing fences is not only the fact that they will expand to a full nine feet and go vertically or horizontally, but the willow reeds on the back. This is genuine willow wood and the back is just as beautiful as the front. And we've done, what we've done with the improvements team is woven all of the leaves around the willow wood, just like mother nature would with vines. So the backside, which is where the magic happens and the expandability is just as beautiful. So if you're hanging this on a balcony between you and a neighbor, you're going to see the beautiful willow, uh, the beautiful leaves and they're going to see the beautiful willow wood so there's no way that you can go ahead and have a wrong side all right so we are getting very busy every time we present this people are like you know i've got a tr i've got a recycle on a trash bin and they are the worst part of my front yard or my side yard and i want to create separation i don't want people to see that but even more you know i i am actually in the process of getting a puppy i'm waiting for the I'm waiting to hear about the puppy uh apparently the mother is pregnant but I, so I, it'll be around may now i have a lot of i have a lot of fencing in my yard but the puppy could probably crawl right through the fencing if they wanted to. So I wanted, I'm gonna cross behind Deb Ooh. over here. And I want you to see it, I'll actually get behind this. So I, my plan is to get some of these and put them on my, cause I have a, a, like a wood, like a, maybe a three foot, four foot wood fence. I'm gonna put this in front of it so that the puppy can't jump through mm -hmm. the little, little rungs there. And you could do that as well. So if you're using it for privacy, if you're using it to sort of uh, create boundaries for your animals, it's perfect for that. And remember, I can change this into any size. If I wanna go tall, I don't know how high we can get the camera there, but I can go tall on this. So if, if, if I just wanted to, let's say I had an outdoor shower mm -hmm. and I'm, you know, and you know me, I'm, I'm very modest. <laughs> so, so I could actually, I guess you could probably still see everything back there, but you know what? It'll be a little hazy. So I'll, I'll get the point across without having to, you know, be obvious about it. But anyway, it's great for that too. I mean, Deb, it adapts to any situation. I think that's why we love it, is that people are like, well, I have six foot. I need something seven foot. I need something two feet high. Because around my deck, here's what I did around the deck. I went like this, and I went all the way down low like that, and that's what I wrapped around the, the lower part of the deck, so now you can't see underneath. It's absolutely yeah. beautiful, and if you wanted to grow something like a shrub, it would take years to actually grow it. You'd have to uh, fertilize it, you'd have to trim it, you'd have to water it, all that stuff. Your fences are going to come absolutely ready to go right out of the box. The box will be a narrow, tall box. It's four feet by two feet, and then you just decide where you want to put them and enjoy them. And we have had customers come back and buy multiples because once you have it oh, and yeah. you see how gorgeous once it is, it's absolutely amazing. So if you're hiding the recycling or you're hiding the air conditioner handler or you're hiding something unsightly in your yard or maybe
maybe you just have a plain wall or an area that you just want to enhance. You know, you can't go to any lounge or, or restaurant without seeing those ivy-covered yeah. walls. They're hugely popular now. They put neon signs in them and people take pictures in front of them. But this is an opportunity for you to have that look inside your home or outside your home for a fraction of what those cost. And if you want to have that look of an ivy-covered cottage, ivy can actually cause damage on your stucco or your siding. Oh, yeah. This can hide it by simply hanging it vertically on a nail or a hook, and now you instantly have that beautiful look. But remember, these are fade resistant, they're uh, weather resistant, so just go ahead and put them outside and enjoy them. If it's inside and it gets a little dusty, you simply hose it off a little with a soft, um, and wipe it with a soft cloth. But this is going to be ready to go, whether you're looking at the beautiful leaves in the front, or your neighbor is looking at the hey. gorgeous bamboo on the back. And Deb, you're showing them how it's gonna be shipped. Right? Oh, yeah. Oh, absolutely. This is, when you get it, it's going to be in a box, and it's going to be collapsed. All you do is open it up. If you want to attach it to anything, there's several ways you can do that. <coughs> I mean, you could use little clips. You could use little twisty ties. You could use anything. You can get those anywhere. We probably have them available Well, it here. comes with the 12 twi uh, right. twist ties, so Right, so, but you're if you good. need more, you can figure out. You could use, heck, you could use string. I mean, you could use whatever a fishing line, whatever it is. But that's how easy it is. All right. Colors, well, we're so busy right now. Colors right now. Deb's got yellow. Yep. In front of me is purple. All right, that's a great color. Behind us, Deb, behind you, which one are we gonna go, the orange? That's the one I like, that's the one I own. I just like a little, I like that little pop of color, <laughs> you know? Um, behind Deb and myself, there's a pink, right? And then finally, uh, the one that's just kind of uh, slightly, has a little bit of touch of white. That's white. On the leaves. And you know, there's also, I, sh I should bring up, I've been to the home stores. They sell artificial hedging material. Yep. It's so fake. <laughs> it's I mean, true. It's, it's like it's like people that put AstroTurf down, in the, and they say it looks like grass. Well, that's not this, because these look beautiful. Remember, they are beautifully variegated, so the color is blended throughout. You can't go wrong, and you're an excellent company because they've been a customer pick for years. All right. We, are, we have to move on because I got so much in the show. Hundreds of you uh, are now online ordering. Get it home. It's an easy fix. It's really going to look fantastic. It doesn't look cheapo. It looks like real hedges. It really does. And if you've got chain link fence or ugly fencing or garbage cans or anything like that and you want to hide them, it's so nice and so easy to be able to do. And plus, it's, it, it's good curb appeal, right? Makes your house look Absolutely nice. Absolutely gorgeous. All right. Is that it for Deb? Are, I, for this hour? You're that's coming it. back next hour, no? No. No, I think that's it for Deb. That's it. I will miss you. I'll see you again. <laughs> Congratulations. Everybody. All right. All right. So brand new tool. I'm buying the rake and I'm buying this today because you ever have a job, right, where you don't need a full out shovel, but you still want the strength of a shovel. You want to be able to dig into the ground and, get, and do it easily. This is called the, uh, the Digamax, okay? And I'm digging on it. Lightweight garden tool, uh, weighs less than a couple of pounds. It's got that scraping tip. It's got sawtooth edges. I'm telling you, all my gardeners out there, get it. I'm buying it today. I had a chance to play with it backstage. I'm like, yeah, I love this up the size. It's not a big giant shovel, so it's easy to handle. That's coming up a little bit later. All right, so let's get back to decorative, all right? Should I stand in the middle? Where should I be? I'll be right here. I will be flanked by, uh, by the uh, bird feeders. So what you're getting today, everybody that orders is gonna get two of these, okay? They are the most adorable little feeders that I think I've ever seen here on the show. They have, uh, they're basically fruit, okay, that has been sort of chewed away, right? And then hung out, all right, and then scooped out, and that's where you put your bird feed, all right? I'll settle this one a little bit so it's not jumping all over the place, but so you can get a better shot of it. So inside, you see you've got a little creature. There's a little butterfly inside that lime. Your choices are, and everybody will get both, a strawberry and a lime, or you will get an apple and an orange. So you have two separate bird feeders. You can hang them on a, you know, with a um, fishing line. You could put them on a shepherd's hook, uh, hang them from your deck, your patio, wherever you like. And I'm telling you, the birds will come. They are so adorable. They are $26.95. Um, give you, a, let me give you an idea of the scale. Um, I'm going to put my hand behind the lime. How's that? To kind of give you an idea. So they're very sizable. Uh, they are made of a heavy duty resin. So they're not gonna blow around in the wind like you would think. They're actually very, very heavy. And all you do is put a little seed inside and you're good to go. 809-339 is the item number. Lorna Co. 
is on schedule. There she is. One of my favorite garden gals. Lorna's with us. Hi, Lorna. <laughs> Hi, Guy. Great to see you. Thank you for having me. Welcome to my garden here in London, England. And boy, have we got something new and exciting for you. So this is from Green Base. They're a third generation family run business here in England. And Sarah Jennings, the head designer, has come up with a real winner. These aren't just for birds. These are also for hummingbirds because you can put your sugar water in. They're also for insects, butterflies and bees. You can put fruit juice in them or just regular water. All you have to do, and we don't have many for the season, is choose which pair you're gonna go for. Now, I have got the lime and the strawberry guy next to me. There's a butterfly in the lime, there's a bee in this juicy ripe strawberry, or we've got the orange with the robin, or the apple with the bluebird, but you get both of them, and these two guys sit flat. So if you want to put these on a table, you can, but you all get an 18 inch chain with the pair that you choose. I mean, it really is. Which one are you going to go for before they go? I, you know what I love, Lorna? Easy, right? You want birds to come. You don't want to have to worry about building, you know, some crazy bird feeder and then worrying about the squirrels and all that stuff. What's nice about these is they come completely ready to go. All you have to do is add seed or you can add nectar. And whether you want to feed the birds, you want to feed the bees, you can do both with these because we are giving you two. I love the detail. Look at that strawberry. First of all, look at the oh. detail on it, right, Lorna? I mean, they really I, look yeah. like, I mean, they look like real fruit. They do. They just look like giant, juicy, zesty fruits. The attention to detail, when the sunlight glints off these guys, you're going to be blown away. And whichever set you choose, the lime and the strawberry or the apple and the orange, you're going to find nature starts flocking to your yard. But you're going to find that you start smiling more because these are real winners. And these are brand new in the USA today. We're all about the newness over here in the UK. And whether you want to put some sugar water or regular water in them, or some bird seed, or some fruit juice, you're gonna be amazed at the kind of wildlife you'll start to attract to your garden. So I've just got some regular water here. So if I want to give the birds, the hummingbirds, a little bit of sugar water, I can, and then I can just literally hang this back up. But I've also got some bird seed, because imagine, you know, it's in the winter, the birds need feeding. You can take your juicy strawberry, and I can find where I've put my bird seed guy. I think it's disappeared, but <laughs> what you could do is add your bird seed in here and then hang it up. And the resin, the quality of the resin and the detail with this is just, oh, my dog just ate the bird seed. <laughs> so, <laughs> she's literally just eating the bird seed. She said, Mom, so this, mind, this, kibble, <laughs> this kibble tastes a little yeah. weird. Yeah. <laughs> so the bird seed's gone to my dog. But this is truly a work of art. I mean, the attention to the tiniest of details, yep. the zesty white pith of the orange, the apple with the core and the little bluebird nestled inside. The value, by the way, Guy, over here in the UK, just one of these, you'd be surprised yeah. at the price. And you're getting two. That's what I love about it. I love the two-pack because, you know, listen, you've got different areas of your yard where you might want to put a feeder out. You may want to put one out on the deck. You may want to put one in the front property. If you've got a little picture window, I always think you should put one in front of a window. It'd be so nice to see, yeah. you know, robins and cardinals and, and bluebirds and all those things, sparrows out, out in your front yard. If you want to get them, you get a two-pack for $26.95. 809-339 is the, high, is the item number there. So take advantage of it. It's a, it you really get a lot of bang for your buck. I love how it looks right there in that greenery. All right, Lorna is staying with us. Um, I almost made this my pick of the show because I think this is absolutely one of the best tools I've seen in our show in the last couple of years. It is called the Digimax, all right? Not Digimax, Digimax. Exactly because of that. You're gonna get maximum result with minimal effort with this shovel. It is lightweight. It is so much easier to use than a regular spade or shovel. All right, it's a fraction of the size. It's about a half to a third of the size. It's like, uh, you know, you, you took a regular size shovel and one of our great green base hand shovels and you kind of cut it right down the middle. Here it is, I'm gonna, if you guys don't mind, I just wanna drop my cards back here real quick so I can show you all about it. It weighs about one and a half pounds, okay? It's the perfect size if you're on your, if you have your garden kneeler, right, which we have coming up in the next show. Uh, if you're sitting on your garden kneeler and you're digging, it's the perfect size for that. Because a lot, you know, most of us, when we do our garden, we're not doing it standing up. We're usually uh, either sitting or kneeling on our garden kneeler or we're out there in the yard and we're working. If you come in close, I'll show you some of the wonderful features and then I'm going to let uh, Lorna take over. 
So first of all, you have that big scoop design. You have the pick design up top. So if you are weeding, if you're getting between pavers, you can pick out the weeds. If you're cutting roots, you can see the saw teeth right there, right as you're cutting there. You can get a good amount of soil inside there. You have a beautiful aluminum construction, and I mean, this is not going anywhere. It's never gonna rust on you. It's not gonna splinter or break. And then you have a nice big ergonomic handle. So if I am working in my, in my you know, doing my plants, especially if I've got my larger flower pots, I have the perfect tool for it. That price of $29.99 is a steal for this. And I expect this to sell out. Lorna, I think this is one of the best tools you've ever brought. I can't wait to order mine after the show. Thank you so much, Guy. This also is brand new in the US today. It's one of the UK's best kept secrets because it's a fusion between a shovel and a trowel. Now, you may be familiar with this kind of shovel. They're heavy, they're cumbersome, and they're quite difficult to work in small spaces. And then you may remember the old garden trowels. They don't hold much dirt, they don't do much, you have to put a lot of effort in. So over here in the UK, the Green Base team, Mike, so first of all, they came out with this tool that was so popular, people started saying, hang on a minute, could you make a little bit bigger one? So Michael Smith, he was a landscape gardener for 30 years, but he found he needed to sit down more when he was gardening and to kneel down. So he came up with a tool unlike any other tool in the world. It's a fusion between a shovel and a trowel. And yes, it weighs one and a half pounds, but are you ready, Guy? This is how strong it is. I can stand on it. So I've got one here on two bricks. And this is that steel head with the alloy handle. Are you ready? It can break through tile. This is how strong it is. But getting to work, if I sit down over here, this is why this was developed. Because you've got that pointed tine, you've got those serrated edges, and that huge deep scoop. So first of all, if I got some prickles or nettles or brambles, like you can see here, the thorns on this are terrible. I don't want to be touching this with my hands. I can use this, first of all, to move things away that I don't want to get in my way. I can use that pointed tine to pop out weeds and to scrape out moss. But I can also use it because it's so sharp. You can see there, it will just chop through fruit because it's so strong. But, Guy, where this comes into its own, I'm sitting down and I've got all the power of a small shovel, but all the lightness of the alloy, 1.5 pounds, Look how much soil this is holding. This means I can garden so much easier, Guy. Oh my there gosh. is no other tool like this in the world. And well, this is brand new today. I'm buying it as soon as I get out there. It's the first thing I'm gonna get. So <laughs> here I am. And by the way, you heard me mention the garden kneeler. I'll give it a quick promo. The, I, you know, I've, I own two of these. Actually, Danny kept stealing mine to wash his car tires, so I got one for myself. But this is our garden kneeler. Holds up to what, to 250 pounds? Which I'm glad to say I weigh a lot less than that now. Um, but anyway, <laughs> I'm using that. That's coming up in about 10 minutes. This is the shovel. So. Let's say you're planting outside. You got, a, you got a row of flowers and you're like, you know, I wanna add one. So now I'm in the perfect position with the perfect size tool. I don't need my big shovel. And my little shovel is just a little bit hard to kind of get into the soil. What's nice about this is I can, first of all, I can cut through any roots, whatever I need to yep. cut through. And look at how much material I'm taking out. I mean, I'm taking out almost, I don't know if you can see it. There you yeah, go. Huge. That is a lot of material. I can pop my plant out. Easier said than done. I don't wanna kill it pull this out <laughs> so and now watch I can keep what's in there I can put my plant down and then I can use the shovel to, to work everything around and notice I'm using one hand with this shovel yeah there we go that's close enough right so I'm using one hand and I and I have the perfect size scoop to be able to do that it's going to lessen your work uh, outside it's going to be that yep. perfect tool when you're doing stuff kind of right in front of you Lorna I mean I'm not listen, yeah. I'm not planting you know, a giant tree with this, but I'm planting, you know, my, my small to medium sized plants with something that weighs a pound and a half in my hand. But yeah. you know what? It's so strong. I mean, this thing is heavy yeah. duty, right? It's super strong, but super lightweight. And just to show you the difference, this is a traditional trowel here. You can see how much more soil I have got. Look at that. It's four times the amount with a regular trowel, which means I'm going to be four times quicker doing my gardening. And whether I am transplanting or planting, whether I'm cultivating or tilling or whether I'm planting bulbs or flowers, I've suddenly got a tool that's like no other because I can get giant scoops of the dirt out. I can rake. I can get my fertilizer in. I can plant flowers. But when you're sitting down and you're gardening, 
this makes all the difference because I've got the length of the shaft two feet six inches instead of a hand trowel to give me that reach and that leverage. So this makes gardening a dream. And guys, there is no other tool like this elsewhere. This was designed by the Green Base team over here in England. It's one of the best kept secrets over here in the UK because it makes your life easy. It makes gardening <coughs> simple. And again, those serrated edges are amazing wow. for cutting through roots and yeah. that pointed time for pinging out weeds. You know what it, it reminds me of? You know, I've, I bought a couple of, of their uh, products. Lorna, I actually still have, you know that shovel that's shaped like pointed in the front that has the saw teeth on one side? Uh, that's a green base item. I used that two days yep. ago to plant a tree because it gets through, it yep. can get through with those saw teeth. You can get through the weeds, you can get through the roots, all that stuff so easy. But that shovel is a full size shovel. And that means, I mean, yep. so I'm not using that for doing, you know, small planting or medium planting. I'm using that for planting trees. This is perfect for most of your gardening, right? And that's a good yep. example right there. It shows you the size of it. I'll hold it in my hand yep. and you can see. It's, it's not a big giant shovel, but the scoop no. is the scoop is a really good size, right? If you look at the size yeah. of the scoop, the scoop is a really good size. So if I'm working right in front of me, I've got no problem being able to manipulate it and, and move the soil around. I don't have to worry if I run into anything that's rough. And, I, and you know, I've got a banyan tree near my yeah. house. <laughs> I love yeah. it. It's a beautiful tree. It's a pain in my butt, man. The roots go like a mile. Yeah. I mean, literally, I yeah. could be like 50 yards from the tree, and I'm like, it's that damn banyan tree again, man. <laughs> and those roots are so hard to cut through. Normally, I would have to get, you know, like a hoe and try to chop it. If you've got this, just cut right through it, right? Oh. Absolutely, Guy. This was a tool that came out of a necessity to garden for a gardener who had worked for 30 years but found they were sitting down more, kneeling down more, but they still wanted the reach of a shovel without the weight of a shovel. They wanted a giant scoop to make moving dirt and soil easier and they wanted a point of time to ping out weeds and to scrape moss from their decking. I've got a full tree here. I've just planted this in, what, two minutes? And I'm gonna come close to camera again just to show you the difference between, this is replacing your heavy shovel. They're heavy, they're cumbersome, not easy to sit down garden with these. And then this trowel actually bent the other day when I was trying to do some work. This is steel head. This is an alloy handle. It's two feet, six inches. It's got the serrated edges here, the strong edges, which are great for cutting through roots, that pointed tip to ping out weeds or to scrape the paving stones or the decking. And then that scoop design is like anything else out there with this handle combined. So I can suddenly garden sitting down, but again, to show you how strong it is, because you think it's a pound and five ounces. I've got one here on two bricks. I am standing on it. This is how strong and tough it is. This is gonna revolutionize your gardening life. It's brand new in the US today, not seen before. And once you've got one, I think, Guy, you're never gonna turn back once you're doing your gardening because the difference is just amazing. All right, I'm gonna give you an update. I got about 900, 800, 900 of these remaining. 900, my producer Rob just said 900. <laughs> <laughs> they learn to chopping <laughs> apples out there. Yeah. Well, well, the point is, <laughs> is that it's a multi-tool, okay? It's not just a shovel, all right? It, I mean, it's, it's obviously a digger, it's a scooper, it's a planter, it's a cutter, it's a weeder. So even, or, or even a scraper. I love that, I, uh, that when you show just like getting in between the pavers. Uh, I just yeah. had my, my driveway paved, or I put pavers in, about, probably about four or five months ago, and I'm already noticing little weeds growing in between the pavers. I'm like, little stinkers, man, you know, little survivors. So all I have to do is take this and just run them along. I don't have to grab the big giant scraper that I have. I can yeah. just use this little one. You'll be surprised at how many things you can use this for, uh, but people are loving it. We are very, very there's the yeah. uh, footage of that. I think, Lorna, it, it, you know what it is? It's, it's that Goldilocks thing, right? It's just right. <laughs> That's what I mean, it's the right size, right? Do you know what, Guy, you've summed it up. There's no tool anywhere else like this, and it is the perfect length, the perfect weight, the perfect scoop size to do easy gardening. And it is one of the UK's best kept secrets. You can see it in action there. And that's just a weed I've just pinged out in seconds. But let me show you the difference between a traditional trowel and the Digger Max. I mean, that says it all. You've got the soil here in the traditional trowel. There's not much in there. There's a lot of digging to do. With the Digger Max, this is about four times more volume, and I can garden sitting down with ease, and I can reach those weeds. I can scrape out that moss. I can chop my apples because <laughs> it's so, so 
super yeah. sharp. Look at that. I mean, it really is a really unusual design, but when you've got it in your hand, you're going to think, oh my goodness, I wish I had this years ago. Yeah. Because this gives you a new lease of life in well, the garden. Lorna, and you know what? We, we have all kinds of great power tools here. We've got a couple coming up in the show. Uh, but if you go to a regular garden show, you know, all that's available are the big heavy tools. And a lot of people, a lot of our, our yeah. customers are over 50, over 60. And they're like, I still yeah. want a garden, but I don't want to, I don't want to have to haul around a 10 pound shovel. What's nice about this yeah. is less than two pounds, pound and a half. All the great features that you're looking for in a planter, shovel, digger. Um, my producer, Rob, says I have about a little over 700, just, yeah, just about 750. Wow. Remaining of these, if you want to pick it up, it truly is a great tool. Um, I, I tell you, this is going to be one of my picks coming down the road. I love this thing. I'm going to buy it today, and I'll get some, uh, I'll get some footage of me actually using it uh, in my yard. Great. All right, Lorna, is that it for you? That's it for today. But thank you so much for having me, Guy. You're amazing. Thanks for skyping in. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I'm, I'm still laughing. I'm laughing because Lorna's dog ate all the bird seed out of the bowl. There's a dog. This dog's the dogs eat bird seed. I guess her. It's an English dog. Maybe it, perhaps it likes bird seed. I don't know. It's, that's not a really good English accent. All right. No. All right. We're gonna go on. Are we already an hour two? Holy mackerel.